Hello everybody, this is Excel video 321 in more solutionsinc.com series on how to use Excel in a medical practice. This is the first video of 2013 and I say welcome back. Look forward to having more videos and more Excel tricks and tips and all that good stuff in 2013. Thanks for watching. We're still playing in the pivot table options menu. We've done layout and format. I want to talk about totals and filters today. Show grand totals for rows and columns. I mean, you can do it here, but I always do it from the design tab. Grand totals will let you turn rows and columns, grand totals on and off. I always do it from there, so I'm not too worked up about this first option in totals and filters. But what I do want to spend some time on in this Excel video is allow multiple filters per field. Before we have multiple filters per field, what you could do is you could say, I want to show the uh, value filters everybody where the sum of build is greater than, I don't know, say $2.5 million. But then if you wanted those plus everybody whose name begins with Dr. L, say, what you could do is you could get Dr. L or you could get the $2.5 million. See how Dr. Lawrence Fletcher is only $2.3 million? What happened when I switched from the label from the value filter to the label filter is I lost the value filter I'm not looking at greater than uh, 2.5 million anymore when you change filters they, they don't combine that you can't filter this and this you've got one filter at a time you can change that option from the pivot table options totals and filters this filters section here allow multiple filters per field now when I do that, let's take all the filters away. Let's do the same thing. If some of this is off the corner of the screen, we sorry about that. Good people at Excel want to move it over there, but that's okay. We're going to go value filters. And then what we'll do is we'll do same greater than. One, two, three, four, five zeros. Now let's get Dr. P. Let's get that so we can get Perry and Phineas. We'll do that. So label filters begins with. Dr. P, click OK, and now I've got both Dr. P's where the sum of build is over $2.5 million, and I could continue down the road here and say, don't give me everybody, just give me Perry, and I could filter each of those all the way through, and you could do a manual filter and a label filter and a value filter if you turn this option on. That's what I want to show you. Allow multiple filters per field. Obviously, it works for columns the same as it does for rows. And that's handy when you want to get really kind of complicated with your filters and you want to do multiple filters at once. Remember this option. It'll help you uh, on a complicated pivot table down the road. What I want to do next time is talk about sorting with custom lists. It's uh, come in handy on a project I'm working on right now. So I'll use that project as uh, kind of an example. And we'll play with that next time. Thanks for watching.